In our big story right now at 6, University of South Alabama officials say a person vandalized several buildings on and off campus early this morning. And crews spent the day cleaning up busted windows and doors. As local 15's Madupe Edogo reports, authorities have one person in custody. That's right, Kim, and USA officials tell me the suspect is actually a former USA student. In less than an hour, authorities say Benjamin Deal Whitehead busted four windows, five doors at four different locations. USA maintenance crews are hard at work, sweeping away $15,000 worth of damage. Shattered glass litters the office at the psychology clinic at University Commons. It's where I caught up with the University of South Alabama spokesperson Bob Lowry. Oh, sometime this morning between roughly 6.30 and 7 a.m., uh, windows and, uh, and glass doors were uh, vandalized. An employee sent me a photo of what she found on her desk. She believes this was thrown in to destroy this window. The two front doors were also hit along with two windows. Authorities say it didn't stop there, but the vandalism continued to Miser Hall, where authorities say he also took an ax to this ATM machine. Authorities say the suspect broke high windows on the Health and Science Building and also left two gaping holes in the Marks Library on campus. We have a person under arrest. 23-year-old Benjamin Deal Whitehead was arrested and charged with four counts of criminal mischief. Lowry says the former USA student acted alone. He says he turned himself it's in to the FBI issue. this morning. That agency notified the university police. Students I spoke to say they're not surprised. I kind of think things have been getting out of hand lately around here, so I just think we should step up security a little bit. As of right now, campus police don't know why the man who once called USA home destroyed school property. Now, I'm told this is not Whitehead's first run-in with the law. The former USA student was arrested in 2013 for criminal trespass. USA officials say they hope to have all the repairs made before school starts in the next two weeks. Greg? All right.